everybody. Just wanted to uh, touch bases on how things are going so far. Um, it's been pretty interesting in the sense of, um, as we talk about the sustainability, because I started on Thursday and, um, you know, everything, everything went well. Posted a video of what I broke fast with that day and um, later on that day I had, was, you know, conducting a soccer practice. Got a text, found out my son had like a 105 fever, so you know, I bolted back to that, was dealing with that, and realized, oh man, it's time to eat. And so, um, you know, I'm trying to deal with that, yet not go past my, uh, my window. And so I was able to get in, you know, a pretty good meal, some protein and some carbs and stuff. And, you know, so that was the first test of like, whoa, you know, you know things get thrown at you all the time. And so trying to stay inside this window can be complicated some days. But I was made able to do it, no big deal. Um, you know, stayed up all night, almost all night dealing with him. And uh, the next day, you know, doctor's appointments, things. I think I um, went 30 minutes over when I was supposed to, you know, break fast. And no big deal, no problem. Um, same thing Friday night, just kind of dealing with him. So I had to get some food in my system. You know, around our house, there's usually pizza night, but everybody was a little under the weather, so we kind of skipped that. So I just got some, I think, you know, some chicken breast or something and ate that and um, was feeling pretty good. Again, almost, up almost all night with him Friday night. And um, was kind of tired Saturday morning, but I had I saw one soccer game to coach. Then I had a, uh, a boxing class to conduct um, and instruct that, and then I had another soccer game to coach. And um, I just didn't think I was gonna have the energy, and actually did. I mean, you know, I, I was able to get my food in because of the way everything was set up, I was able to get my food in, um, and just wasn't as tired as I thought I would be. And so, um, you know, Saturday night, okay, slept, you know, slept pretty good. Um, but we had the time change. So that means if I wanted to stay on track, I pushed my break fast off for an hour. So it was technically 12 when I ate, um, but it registered as 11. And so, um, you know, the one thing I found is a couple days out of that, I went about 30 over, 30 minutes over. Um, and what was very interesting about that, about 30 minutes after I was supposed to break fast, if I hadn't eaten, I'd get this serious endorphin rush. Um, felt like adrenaline, endorphin, something like that. I just all of a sudden just feel like, man, I got a lot of energy. And I, you know, get a little bit shaky, almost like you was on a pre-workout or something. And it would last for a little while, then it kind of tail off. So I don't know if that was my body saying, hey, you know, you can eat and you haven't eaten yet. So I'm just kind of reminding you. But I did notice that happened every day that I went past the time that I was actually supposed to eat. Um, Sunday went well yesterday. Um, had a big dinner at the in-laws house and actually ate at five, which would have been six. But, you know, technically it was five and went all night. No big deal. Woke up about two o'clock in the morning, just full of energy. I mean, I felt like I could go lift a house. And so, um, stayed up almost the rest of the night and, you know, got my son up, got him off to school and I had to work out. I was just like, I, I just got too much energy. I have to work out. So I went to the gym this morning and got a good hour, just a really good monster workout in just those, those times when you felt like you could just throw weight around and do whatever you're doing all day. Um, what I did find interesting, and the Hodge twins mentioned this, is I didn't feel like I could do heavy weight a lot of reps, but I felt like I could do heavy weight. So I could do heavier weight for like five, six reps, but then I would just kind of hit the wall at that point. I didn't really have a lot of push after that. So, um... That's kind of where I am, you know, got on a scale and feel like I've dropped about two pounds. It's kind of fluctuating, but I think I'm down like two pounds. Um, I definitely feel lighter. Um, you know, it looks like I might be cutting up a little bit, but you know, it's only been a couple of days. So that's probably not the case. It might be more mental. 
since I, you know, I know I'm eating pretty good and I know I'm doing this. So it could be a little more mental than physical, but overall, everything feels good. Um, I'm really excited about it. And um, I definitely don't see how this could not be sustainable. I mean, it's definitely very sustainable. I had lunch today with a buddy of mine who's actually a professional bodybuilder and um, got quite a few awards. And we were talking about it. And he was saying how if indeed, this indeed worked in the sense of not losing muscle mass and actually cutting up, it's so much more viable for him to do than the six meals a day. You know, he talked about trying to cook all the meals, get them packaged up, and eat them every two hours. He's like, that's just, it's, it's almost impossible. So we talk about sustainability, and, you know, I think six meals a day and trying to plan for six meals as far as cooking them, packing them, taking them, and eating them is a lot less sustainable for the average person than the intermittent fasting theory of eating. So... Um, I'll check back in if I get any gains. If I if anything changes, I will definitely check back and let you know. So um, subscribe if you would, please. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. And um, like I said, I hopefully will be throwing in a couple cooking segments here, uh, maybe this week. Uh, I was trying to do it, but like I said, my son was not feeling well, so it's hard to do it and take care of him too. So. I uh, hope everybody's good. Keep following along and we'll see what happens. Peace.